Shalom. Uh, it's just so much information to where now that the Most Highest has basically given us a mind, especially those who have the mind, to seek knowledge. Not for the sake of worshiping knowledge, but to seek knowledge to find out who we are. And the time is, is past to be anything but who we are. It's good to know who you are by name and our appellation and different things like that. And first of all, we must know who he is, but then know who we are. But who we truly are. We are truly a set-apart nation, a royal priesthood. We are actually descendants of a royal bloodline. That's not to be boastful or arrogant or nothing like that. That's just the facts. And once we find, and once we realize that, uh, um, even our young people will start living like that. Because we'll we'll come. Let me let, let me segue this. First of all, I'm not gay. I'm none of that stuff. I'm not saying the people that are they have the right to do that, but I'm not. I'm just an I'm just a, a man who expresses himself. Uh, how I move to express myself. So I'm going to give a segue. It's not my song. This was Don the Raw, Raw song. And this I just felt like doing it. So, you know, people going to judge you. You know, I, that's them. But I'm not gay. I'm none of those things. So I'm just putting it out there. Uh, but I'm, I'm the type of man, I express myself how I feel like expressing myself. No, so I'm not worried about how people judge me and none of that type of stuff because I actually I know who I am. You know, I know who I am. The most I know who I am. So at the end of the end of the day, that's all that really matters. So man, the thought that came to my mind, and that's why I had to give the uh, disclaimer. Is because people probably wouldn't under, would, would not uh, understand it or, but I'm just gonna do it. The thought that came to my mind while I was uh, about to say what I'm about to say before I segue into the scripture, it was like, I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Want to let them show. I'm coming out of her. I want you to know it, yeah, want you to show it, yeah, I'm coming out, I'm coming out of her, like I was told to do, come on my people, let's come out of her, we coming out, we coming out of her, coming out of her, come out of her my people. Come out of here, my people. Wake up. Become who we are called to be. There's so much information that's being shared right now that's giving us inspiration to be who we are. As they would say back in the day, and not judging people's actions as far as who they are, who they were by personality, but many of our people from in the past would say, thank you for allowing me to be myself. And they're saying that let me go ahead to this information that I'm going to provide. Okay, let me. Uh, I looked up the word project in the Etymology Online Dictionary, and it was project. Now, uh, I'm going to try to, this might be two videos, let's see how long it goes. Century 1400, a plan, draft, scheme, from Latin, uh, proectum, something thrown forth, noun, uh, noun use of neuter, uh, proticus, past particle, of pro, pro seer, stretch out, thrown forth from pro for, see pro, plus combining form of uh, I'll seer, past particle, I'll tuss, to throw, if I mispronounce the words, forgive me, from pi root, ye, ye, my, uh, to throw, impale, meaning scheme, proposal, mental plan, is from 1600s, meaning group, of low rent apartment buildings first can be recorded 1935 American English short for housing project 1932 projects 
project manager a test from 1913 then it says uh, this was another document that I found online and I, I was just going the way I was led to go it said reference Dos Pueblos Chumos by Tom Madugno on 9-18-2018 Dos Pueblos is, is Spanish for two villages but to locals that's the name of, he, this is their quote, this is the name of our high school. And the name of ranch on the outskirts of town. But why would this ranch or our high school be named Two Villages? They say, good question. They say, European explorers nicknamed this Dos Pueblos because there was two Chumas villages right next to each other. The two villages in question were 10 miles west of Goleta at the picturesque location on the coast. They were called Mikeyan and Kayomi. Mike Mike Key Mike and Kayami Kayamu. And they were here long before the Europeans came along and gave them a generic name. But the reality is these two villages were anything but generic. This is from the same uh, document. You can go to GoletaHistory.com this aerial shot from 1936 shows where the two separate villages were located. Uh, we emphasize separate because they were very different and unique. The people of the two villages also had different physical characteristics. The people of Miku were thought to be descended from the Shoshone tribe. Those people being tall, slender, and light complexion. Uh, the Cayumums were thought to be from the Aztec descent. Short, thick, and darker skinned. It showed a map illustrated those Pueblo Santa Barbara County, uh, California, surveyed for the Smithsonian Institution, Washington D.C., by Paul Shoemaker, Shoemaker uh, divided by A, B, and C, Miku, and D for Kenyamu. Uh, Wikipedia online. The Shumash people are Native American people who are historically inhabited the central and southern coast regions of California and, po and, and portions of what is now San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles counties extending from Morro by the north to Malibu in the south. They are occupied three of the Chamo Islands, Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, San Miguel, the small island of uh, Anacopa, was likely inhabited seasonally due to lack of consistent water source. Modern places names the Shumash origin included, include Sayocos, Malibu, Nipom, Nipom, Nipomo, Lompac, Ojo, Oja, Pismo Beach, Point Mugo, Point Hyanimi, Piru, Lake, Yaskastic, Sitakoi, Semi Valley, and Semos. Archaeological research demonstrates that the Shamus, the Shumos, has deep roots in Santa Barbara Channel, or lived along the southern California coast of millennia. They also inhabited the Antelope Valley in Palmdale, California and traded with the Kanamuk people in the Mojave Desert. The beginning of the Shumuk, uh, the Shumas tribe, Native Americans have lived along the California coast for at least 13,000 years. The first settlement started over 13,000 years ago near Santa Barbara coast. The name Shumas means bead maker or seashell people. Being that they originated near the Santa Barbara coast, the Shumas tribe near the coast benefited most with the close uh, Juzapotion uh, of the variety of marine and territorial habitation, or habitat, intensive upwelling in coastal independent villages speaking variations of the same language. Much of their culture consisted of uh, basket, basketry, bead manufacturing and trading, cuisine of local abalone and, and clam, herbalism, which consisted of 
using local herbs to produce tears and medi uh, medical reliefs, rock art, and the, uh, what did I put? Because I wrote it down. I believe it says the gore, gore, gore plant tree or something like that, gorpin tree. The scorpion tree, no, that's what it was, scorpion tree. The scorpion tree was significant to the Shumash as shown in its, uh, what is this word, arborglyph, a carving depicting a six-legged creature with a headdress including a crown and two spheres. The shamans participated in carving which was used in observation of the stars in part of the Shumash calendar. European contact. The Europeans first visited the Shumash in 1542. They were met by sailing vessels under the command of Juan Cabrillo. Uh, I think I believe how you spell Juan's name. Juan Cabrillo. Yeah, Juan Cabrillo. With the arrival of the Europeans, came as a series of unprecedented blows to the Chumash and their traditional life ways. Anthropologists, historians, and other scholars have long been interested in uh, documenting the collision of the cultures that accompanied the European ex exploration and settlement of the Americas. Spain settled on the territory of the Chumash in 1770. Uh, they founded colonies, bringing in missionaries to begin Christianizing Native Americans in the region due to the large mission and Christian influence, Chumash villages be, uh, began what did I put? Man, maneuvering to many missions I believe that's what it says I, I, I was writing fast springing up as long as the coast it is believed that much of the Chumash population was diminished due to old world dis diseases brought over by the Europeans. The settlement of the Spanish, uh, many have also derived, uh, what did I put, have also devastated the Chumash culture. The Chumash may actually be represented by the people housed in projects, this is what my thought was, I wrote down, so I can remember what to write, as a thought. The Chumash may actually be represented by many people housed in projects. Remember you say projects was a plan. Housing projects. Such as the Nickerson Gardens. So, although they're not all there, but that, that was kind of like a, just like they do in the movies, because this was a consideration. I'm not saying this is truly facts, but this is the way I was led to go. And based on the definition of the Shumash people, projects, um, and then we, we realize that the word projects is a project. And these people, they say they don't know where they went for the most part. Of course, they're, they're, they're not only in those projects, but how it's, it appears to be that they give, thing, they give uh, messages in plain sight. It could possibly these people are those people that were placed in the... Uh, housing projects that they call uh, the Nickerson Gardens being the largest public housing development they that project and they made it clear it was uh, west of the Mississippi Rev River according uh, to the Wikipedia and the, uh, and, the, and the Mississippi River that's why all the information is pointing out that because uh, this young man I believe it was how you spell it how you using that come come out come forgive me come Malibu, how do you spell it? You can kind of mess his name up. Karimio Ahua, who who's doing a wonderful job for providing information, and you know that's one of the ones, and he's also connected to, I believe, to the Drop Radio, King Drop. You know, they they use a lot of the same information as far as helping each other out and helping us all out to know better. So, like I said, I don't know him, but I, I got to give him credit for uh, what the wonderful job he's doing. That's where I got a lot of ideas from as well. You know, as, as far as what don't come from the creator, 
I get from them, but basically all information comes from the great spirit. So all of us do our part. Whether it's a little bit, if you give a sentence, you did your part. You, know, you, get, you only can give what you have. So, uh, and it was pointed out that the Mississippi River is actually the Nile River that uh, Moses and Moshe was actually placed in. So a lot of those lands over what they call over there in Africa, we must consider that this whole land mass was one land mass, one continent at one time, the Garden of Eden, just for consideration. And then when it's a lot of people, I'm not saying this, this is how it is, but it appears to be that way because a lot of times people push and shove for position. But everybody is doing their part. You got the Moors providing the laws of the land. You know, you got the Israelites providing the, the Torah. Then you got everybody else to fall in between providing information about who all these indigenous people are from one way to the other. According to scripture, though, they only fall through um, Ham, I mean, uh, Ham, Sham, and Japheth. But all the rest of these definitions and different names and different things like that and tribes basically are uh, derivatives of those three people according to scripture and then and then then pork then some of that is that uh, as they say the Europeans are the um, Caucasians as, as one uh, man who said he's an Anglo-Saxon, that he also, because I listen to just about everybody to see if I can get some, like scripture says, listen to all things and hold on to that which is good. So I don't limit myself just to listen to Israelites, even though I am an Israelite. Um, so everybody has, has information that, that they can share. So that's why I listen to all information. And then I hold on to that which is good. And then once that information adds up to the truth that, I, that my spirit bears witness to from the great spirit, based on everything that's put out, I hold on to that. That's just me. I, I'm not telling anybody to do what I do. Okay, it said, there are researchers and truthers who uh, report that the Mississippi River is actually the Nile River. They look into that. Also noted uh, that the Hopi tribes are, are, are in those Pueblos. Also see Imperial Courts, which is also noted to be located west of the Mississippi. Also, I was led to people from the Western Sahara region um, who they were, who were Muslim and Christians and I believe they were called the Raja people. And, and, and I lost the, um, the link that I was looking for. But at the time when I was looking at that link, look into this as well. I'm not saying this is fact, but look into it. The Raja people were known for the, the, the jungle regions, basically based on uh, their beautiful trees and beautiful fruits. and different. So my, my mind took me to the jungles in Los Angeles because these Raja people were uh, a, a royal people. Bantu, not Bantu, but it was it was another word, which also made me think they were Israelites as well. And all these people basically are Israelites. So, just consideration. And then, I looked up the Jordan Downs. Jordan Downs, the River Jordan, went to my head. Okay, what, what was significant about the Jordan Downs when I looked at it? It says the Jordan Downs is a 700 unit public housing apartment complex. It's basically the projects. That's not putting people down, but this, I'm just saying that projects, and I believe I gave you the definition of what a project was. And a lot of times uh, these royal people are placed in these projects because those who, I'm not saying every Caucasian or 
European had nothing to do with this. But you know, as we know, the, those at the top uh, who basically say that they're the elite, just like they do in movies, they give you they give you the truth if you can decipher it. So as I was looking at this, these things came to my mind as a as, as part of deciphering it. I'm not saying it's true or it's fact, but this is what came to my mind. You see if it, you and you, I want you to see if, if you see the same thing. It said the Jordan Downs was a 700 unit public housing apartment complex in Watts, Los Angeles, California. Next to this is what drew my attention. David Starr Jordan High School. So why are these so-called African American and these Negroes next? Uh, next to a high school that they and they put a high school right next to them called David Starr Jordan High School. And then the other ones, you know, also uh, a royal people that's um, basically they give you clues of who they are and, and they told you that these places are west of the Mississippi River, the Nile River. It's like giving you clues all the time. So I'm not saying that this is true, but you look into it as well. And see if you can think, if, you, if these things, same thoughts come to your mind. If not, shalom. Until next time.